But I just want to note that on, on May 13th of 2021, a subcommittee uh, member here on Judiciary, uh, our colleague, Ms. Sheila Jackson Lee, who walked in the room, um, I'm going to quote you uh, because you said, and I think it's up on the, on the screen there, in essence, the brain doesn't fully mature until at least 25 years old. Does that tell us about high school students, middle schoolers, and yes, young people who make, make rash or irreverent or spontaneous decisions? Should that be their life? Now, admittedly, she was saying this in the context of a, a criminal subcommittee hearing, but I think that is a, a, a truism. I think she stated an obvious fact that everybody should acknowledge. Unfortunately, um, I'm out of time. I'll have some more in a bit. Uh, the chair now recognizes Ms. Jackson Lee. How about that introduction? Mr. Johnson, thank you for giving me that gift. Um, you are absolutely right. Uh, that uh, hearing, if I might uh, quote it specifically, um, as the uh, chair of the committee, it was uh, made during a committee hearing entitled um, The Juvenile Justice Pipeline and the Road Back to Integration. The idea, Ms. Reynolds and Mr. Minton, was to save lives uh, from young people being incarcerated for life. Uh, and it was the individual young person making rash actions that would draw themselves into criminal life or criminal acts, should that be the rest of their life. So let me uh, not step away from the idea uh, that we want to save lives in many instances. Let me get to the point of this hearing, uh, since that was not relevant to this hearing and it was on a completely different topic. But let me get to this point. Uh, let me um, apologize uh, for a hearing that frightens me. <laughs> 